Snap-on Training Solutions helps you get the most out of your Apollo D8 diagnostic tool. I'm Jim Moritz, Global Field Trainer and Sales Support Representative. This module covers the intelligent diagnostics feature. Diagnosing vehicles can sometimes be pretty time-consuming. The most time-consuming part of diagnosing modern vehicles is all of the research that needs to be done. Intelligent Diagnostics is designed to increase your productivity, which in turn increases your profitability. Intelligent Diagnostics is a companion feature of the scanner function. From one menu, it can provide the following code-specific information. OEM technical service bulletins, safety recalls and campaigns, top repairs graph, a graph of the specific parts and procedures most frequently used to fix the selected code or symptom, smart data, a custom PID list highlighting specific PIDs that are operating outside known good values, functional tests and reset procedures, sure track real fixes and tips. This training video assumes you already have knowledge of the basic scanner operations. To review scanner operations, see the Scanner Codes training video in this series. Tap to highlight a code and press the Intelligent Diagnostics icon. To use Intelligent Diagnostics, the diagnostic tool must be connected to a Wi-Fi network with internet access. This icon tells you the status of your connection to the Intelligent Diagnostics server. The Code Results drop-down menu allows you to quickly change the active code within Intelligent Diagnostics and see the related information. So even though we chose P0300 initially, we can quickly change our code from this drop-down. The top repairs graph shows you the most common verified fixes and or probable causes for the code based on information obtained from actual repair orders. In our example, the most common fix for the code was replacing the spark plug. This fix was verified 537 times and occurred the most 130 times in vehicles at about 125,000 miles. Technical bulletins are one of the first things to check for when performing any diagnosis. The Technical Bulletins card makes it easy by giving you quick access to all the available OEM recall, TSB, and campaign information for the selected code. If the icon on the card is red, the number displayed indicates the total number of recalls, TSBs, and OEM campaigns that have been found. If the icon is green with a check mark, it indicates no results were found. To see the list of the available TSBs, recalls, and campaigns related to the code, just tap the card. To view a specific bulletin, just select it. You can then read through the bulletin on the tool. Let's take a look. These are the exact bulletins a factory technician would have available to him. Technical service bulletins are available in as little as two weeks, but not more than eight weeks after manufacturer release. Now, let's select the Smart Data card. Smart Data is just that. It gives you a custom list of PIDs that are related to the selected code. It basically filters out all the non-relevant PIDs and shows you only what you need. It is important to remember that when using smart data, the engine should be at idle speed and up to normal operating temperature. Accessory engine loads should be turned off as well. In addition, specific PIDs are pre-armed using known good upper and lower trigger values. This saves you time and allows you to see issues immediately. Let's take a look at these PIDs. In Smart Data, PIDs that display a flag have been preset and pre-armed. A blue outlined flag indicates the PID is armed and operating within its normal expected limits. 
In other words, the trigger has not been activated. If the flag is red, this indicates the PID is operating but out of range and the trigger has been activated. In graph view, take a look at one of the triggered PIDs. We can see that after a PID trigger has been activated, a red cursor line is displayed on the graph of the PID with the activated trigger to indicate where the trigger occurred. A green cursor line is displayed on all the other PID graphs to indicate their relationship to where the trigger occurred. After a PID trigger has been activated, a short data movie is automatically saved. The gray line shows the point where the data was saved. The movie can be viewed by returning to the home page. Then select View Saved Data. The latest saved movie is always at the top of the list with a date and time stamp. The X icon clears the data and restarts the recording. You will be prompted if you want to clear the scanner data and start over. The functions of the other icons are covered in the scanner navigation training modules. Selecting the functional tests and reset procedure card opens a menu of bi-directional component tests related to troubleshooting the selected code. Functional tests and reset procedures allow you to confirm the operation of components and validate repairs by allowing you to manually control certain component operations, like turning a fuel pump on and off, or an O2 heater on and off, or even resetting fuel trim values. Additional functional tests and reset options may be displayed at the bottom of the screen depending on the vehicle. Towards the bottom of the main menu, the most common SureTrack real fix for the selected code is displayed. This is typically displayed in a complaint, cause, and correction format, and the fixed it number on the right indicates the total number of verified fixes using this information. Just below are the real fixes and tips cards. Select the Real Fixes card to view a list of code-specific procedures and tests that have been gathered from actual shop repair orders. To read an article, simply select the blue link. Select the Tips card to view a list of code-specific tips gathered from industry professionals. To select a related tip from the list, select the blue link. Snap-on is dedicated to helping you get the most out of your diagnostic tool and keep your customers happy. Be sure to watch the rest of the modules in this training solutions series.